Hey guys, welcome to vtechacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss about domain of a function. So in our previous videos we have discussed about functions. So here in this presentation let us learn what is a domain and how to find the domain of a function. So here the domain of the function y is equal to f of x is a set of all real x for which f of x is meaningful or defined. And now let us learn the rules for finding the domain. So the expressions under the even roots, square roots or the fourth roots must be greater than or equal to 0. So let us consider here f of x is equal to under root of x plus 2 into x minus 3. And here f of x is defined only when x plus 2 into x minus 3 must be greater than or equal to 0. And the denominator of the function must not be equal to 0. So let us say f of x and g of x are the two functions and f by g of x can be written as f of x divided by g of x and here the function is defined only when the denominator g of x is not equal to 0. For example here let us consider f of x is equal to x plus 1 and the function g of x is equal to x minus 1. Then f of x divided by g of x would come as x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 would be defined only when the denominator that is x minus 1 is not equal to 0. And now let us consider the domain of the function y is equal to f of x is d1 and the domain of the function y is equal to g of x as d2. Then the domain of f of x plus or minus g of x and f of x into g of x would be d1 intersection d2 and the domain of the function f of x divided by g of x would be d1 intersection d2 for x such that g of x is not equal to 0 and the domain of the function root f of x would be d1 intersection for x such that f of x must be greater than or equal to 0 and now let me explain this concept with the help of an example so here we have the function f of x is equal to 2x square minus 5x plus 7 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3. So we observe that the function is in the form of f of x divided by g of x and here it is defined only when the denominator g of x is not equal to 0. So here we have the denominator as x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 not equal to 0. So this would come as x minus 1 not equal to 0, x minus 2 not equal to 0 and x minus 3 not equal to 0. This implies here x is not equal to 1 and x is not equal to 2 and here x is not equal to 3. So therefore we can say that x is not equal to 1, 2 and 3 and the domain of the function f of x would be all the real numbers except 1, 2 and 3. And now let us consider another example. Here we have f of x is equal to root x square minus 25. So here it is in the form of root f of x and here f of x is defined only when it is greater than or equal to 0. So here we have the function x square minus 25 must be greater than or equal to 0. And here we know that 25 is a perfect square root and we can write it as 5 square. So this would come as x square minus 5 square greater than or equal to 0. So this is in the form of the formula a square minus b square. So let us write the function in the form of the formula we get x plus 5 into x minus 5 greater than or equal to 0. So that implies here x belongs to minus infinity comma minus 5 union 5 comma infinity and therefore we get the domain of the function f of x as all the real numbers except minus 5 and 5. So this was a basic introduction on how to find the domain of a function. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vteachacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.